everybody, it's Fat Frog, and we just brought down a Tech Stego here just a minute ago. Let's take a look at it, how it's going here. It's going to get 71 levels provided it doesn't die, which is a, actually a very good chance because it happens to be in one of the craziest spots on the island. Uh, it was just down here. It's actually pretty tame right now, but let's count the Dodicruses. One, two, three. Got an Alpha Raptor down there. There's another four, five Dodicruses. Or is it Dodicuri? I don't know. I like the word Dodicuri. And there's another one up here. All hiding out, chilling out. So is that six or something like that? So there's plenty of those guys. Plenty of Argentavises. Pretty crazy. I got to get a GPS so I can show you guys where we are, but we're right about there at, uh, let's see, what is that? 40 ish, 55, something like that. And uh, that guy just munched something. I'm trying to find a decent uh, saber tooth, but that's not one of them. 48, it's not. Not terrible for right now, but it's not what we want. So we're gonna we're gonna have to kill this one if it's fo oh it's found a Dodicarus. Um, yeah, because I didn't want to bring it right over to my Stego. So the Stego's gonna take a long time to get wake up, but I don't think it's going to survive. And I don't even know where it went. Where the heck did it go? Did it get killed already? <laughs> <laughs> it's dead already. Oh my god. Oh, I should have built something around it. Oh, no. Oh, man, two Alpha Raptors. Let's see what we can do here. Mostly worried about Stam. Ooh, they're slicing and dicing me. Jeez. I think the one's almost down, but maybe not. No, I think that's just the color of it. Don't want to lose my best Argentavis here. I want to get some XP though. About half health. Come on, you can do it, bird. I don't know, maybe not. A couple more attacks here. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. Yep, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Oh well, one would have been fine. Two and boosting each other, not so much. All right, well, let's head this way. We got a Procoptodon, which is pretty exciting. Um, however, I don't have what I need to tame it, and I don't really have a use for one, but they are super cool. I had a couple, uh, couple of Sabertooths run off this way. It's a level 32. There's the other one. Uh, let's see if I can get luck out on it. I think it was a 12. Let's get a better angle here. Yeah, it's headed this way. What well, stupid thing? Well, I don't want to aggro it really, but whatever. What's it gonna do? How's it gonna get in here? So my dude needs—he needs some health. And what I figured what we needed was uh, a net. And so we went and got some organic polymer up in the uh, up in the Arctic biome. And let's see, what do we need for building a net for the net projectile for the harpoon gun? We already went ahead and built the harpoon gun. We need fiber and metal ingots, so should have all that stuff. Let's grab fiber, we got some metal ingots in here. Okay, let's see what we got. Man, there's a lot of stuff. How many can we make? Five. Five should be good for right now. Probably, I don't know, what is our... Turn this back on. What are we low on? Fiber. Oh, well, let's get some more fiber. We can we got a lot of organic polymer, so we might as well just build up whatever we can. Because the organic polymer is just gonna spoil anyway. So let's build up eight more. We won't carry all these around because they are pretty heavy. There, that's better. That's easier to deal with. Okay, so got 13 of those. Let's close this out. We'll put the poly in here for now. Get rid of that and that and that. Don't really need that at all. Put that in there and that in there. 
Okay, so now we're in good shape. We got to heal our guy up, though, before we go taking him anywhere. We did get a Pegomastix attacked us at some point. Became our friend. I don't think we ever named it here. Did we? No, we never did name it. So this is going to be our third Pegomastix. It's going to be Jerk 3. Let's see how many Pegos we get into here. And... Uh, we're just going to put it all into melee damage for no real reason. What's going on out here? I thought I just heard attacks. Is there attacking going on out here? Or am I going crazy? Maybe going crazy. Yep, looks like I'm going nuts. That's unfortunate. Well, we got a male raptor here, level 116. Let's see if we can get him without too much trouble. Ouch, ouch. I think we're probably going to not make it to our taming pen, but we'll see. We're not too far away. Yeah, I think we might make it. We're going to take a lot of damage, though. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Definitely make it now. All right, hopefully these guys don't aggro on it. And... Perfecto. There we go. So this shouldn't be too hard at all. Ooh, headshot. Go to sleep, my friend. Hey, there we go, Raptor. Uh, please name me. There we go. Let's unfollow you. Take a quick look at your stats. 1,000 health. Uh, stamina, 615. We're not going to run around on this guy. Damage, 335. So health is, seems to be just about all right for a Raptor. Let's get you out of this area here. And we'll put you down by these guys. There we go. Have you follow the stego for right now. Alright, so you guys have a good time. You guys should be just fine as long as we don't get a, a Rex up in this business. Which reminds me, I should really take our beaver out of here. I'm a little bit worried about him. So let's get him back to our base and let's continue our adventures. Well, the second I popped out of my base, uh, we got a Rex. It's a level 76 female and we could use the eggs for kibble. And it is a decent level, so it would be good just for protection for the meantime. I'm flying around on my new Argentavis. Uh, I don't think, well, 50 arrows probably aren't going to be enough if I miss. So let's head back to base here and make up some more Trank arrows. I'm not sure how I want to go about doing this. Um, hmm. Well, I think we'll just try to do it freestyle. I was thinking about building a Rex taming pen out here. This harpoon gun is not going to do us any good for a Rex, unfortunately. So let's just leave that there. Um, I can't remember where my narcotic is hiding. If it's in here or there. Here it is. So let's make up those. That Rex is pretty darn close. I can see it over there. Crafting. Trink. So let's craft up those. There we go, all 50 of that. We can always get some narco berries if we're going to need to keep that down, which I think we might at the rates that we have. Uh, let's see, what's your health up to? Your health is 2600. And what is yours, Blade? Here's 2800, so you got a little bit more health. So let's put you on, you're already on passive. Let's go find this Rex. Where did it go? Those things are so fast, he's already all the way up there. If you remember uh, that Alpha Rex, um, that thing is still around, but apparently far from the base. 
soon as we get three more crafted up here, I'm going to pop off this guy and miss. No, I hit. We're going to see if we can do this. It's going to be difficult. There's plenty of dangerous stuff around here. Whoa, there it is. Uh, I don't have any real good... Oh, there's a cliff over here. We might be able to get him to go down into this little valley and then shoot some arrows there. There we go. Oh, stupid bugs. Bugs are the worst. The ants are terrible. Well, let's see if there's anything bad down here. Doesn't look like it. Well, the Rex is having a good time over there. Arrow. There we go. What good music. Oh, hyena dons. I don't think they're gonna cause much of an issue over here. Is the Rex down there? Excellent. What else do we got? I think we're safe up here for the time being. Let's see, if we can get most of our arrows in while it's down there, we should be in good shape. How can you climb up here? I forget that these guys are real good climbers these days. Maybe if I move a little further down. I can't believe they can climb this cliff. They're smart these days. The AI seems to have gotten like tons better in the last <laughs> over the last five years. Lots and lots better. Okay. Yeah, it's just okay. We're just gonna have to do it out in the open. We're gonna have to fly off and take a couple of shots. Come on. Well, at least it's distracted for a minute. So we got 85 arrows. Oh, we hit the damn stego. Bugs. Come on, arrow. Oh, come on, Rex. Decide who you want to kill. Look, I think that Rex will be just fine. Yeah, it's already got the stego dead. And the trike's dead. Stupid bugs are back. Where are those bugs? Okay. Let's get off this way. Get a little distance. It's just gobbling everything up. Uh, if this doesn't work, I think the next strategy I'm going to have to try is some uh, bear traps. Slow them down for at least a little while. I wonder if it's running. Kinda doubt it. Bugs. Anybody else? Dang it. That's too high. Yeah, maybe not. That's too short. Maybe not. I'm getting pretty lucky with this crossbow. As I say that, I missed twice in a row. Okay, let's go get this Rex. It's definitely running now.
think it is back to, yeah, it's back to chasing me. Oh, she's down. I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, let's just bypass this thing and get some prime right away. All right, you ate all the stegos, you damn thing. Uh, there's another Rex. Level 16, we'll take that guy out. He will provide us with good prime for a bunch better Rex. So I don't think the Rex that we're going to tame up is going to be... It's not going to be boss fight Rex, but it should be just fine. For defending the base and producing a few eggs for us. Which will help us make kibble and help us get a better Rex. Two prime meat. Oh, that was not that good, was it? All right, we'll see if we can find something a little different around here for some prime. We can head back up and gobble Argentavises all day. There we go, just got some prime from, all right, I'm gonna get away from these bugs. Just got some prime from, I know there's bugs around here, I can, I can smell them. Stay away from me and my Rex. There we go. Should get rid of most of the, most of the bugs. Okay, let's get this prime. Where did we get all this prime from? Oh, this is mostly old prime. All right, well, let's just do this. And this, that should be pretty good. Let's see if, if we had any newer, nearer prime. Not really, I don't think that's all gonna spoil. Put it in here anyway. What the heck? Are we taming? Yes, we are. We're 20%. Hopefully, get 37 levels. That'll put us past 100. So that'll be that be a no joke Rex. Uh, probably put us past any Rex. Well, most Rexes that are going to show up around here. So I'm just going to babysit it. I don't want to build a big, a big a kind of exclusion chamber kind of a thing. Exclusion chamber? Exclusion pen? I don't know what you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, because it's just going to be too much. We got... Is that a Yutteranus down there? Oh, that's that 88. I mean, I think it's the same one. Uh, we got 52 arrows. That should do it. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get a few arrows into it before we... Before we net that sucker. Whoa! Run, 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 run. Ah! Alright, he's right outside the base, so... Let's do what we can here. So we know... We're not going to be able to bring them down with just arrows. I'm going to just pour arrows into this poor guy. Come on, give me a... Give me a sign. Oh, there it is. Whew. I'm going to have to do this on foot here. Some mail. Come on, go down. Hopefully it'll be tranked enough that it's gonna take off. Oh shit, did I just uh I think I just knocked it out while it was not or shot it while it was knocked out. Well, I think we're just gonna have to deal with that. 
Uh, if the taming effectiveness is real low, I'm definitely going to build a pen around that thing um, and just let it come back up. So we got to get some prime to figure this out. Uh, we also got to check on our dang Rex. So the Rex is doing just fine, but it may need some more prime by the time we get back. So let's see what we can find for prime. I'm going to head up and go for Argentavis's. Um, this seems to be better luck with Prime that way. The other Anis is still sleeping. It's going to take a long time before it woke up, wakes up. So I am just going boom, boom, boom. The other Anis is asleep, and we built this pen around him, which is really convenient that he fell right asleep next to our base. And that was a pretty cool entry to my base, if I do say so myself. In the meantime, I've built the tower, so when he does wake up, we can pour some arrows on down there. I might have to break this railing in order to do so, but that's not a big deal. It, the railing is a good idea, though, because I'm a klutz and will fall into the pen. So that's pretty good, but it's going to be a while before it wakes up, and it's been a pretty eventful day, at least for me, so I think that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks for watching.